Okay, camera rolling. Good. Sound rolling. Yeah, that's like in Hollywood. Okay, clap. Good. Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbel and today I would like to give you a brief look into the future, um, a little bit heads up of where things are going and um, if you have seen videos on smoking strobes already, then you know I'm really really not into this uh, posh um, Polish professional sort of videos, you know, perfect cuts, effects, cinematic look, no. Kidding, kidding, sorry. I couldn't resist to uh, knock off this little um, thing, this little joke from an awesome video editor named Andy the Video Boss Jenkins. And um, the reason why I'm yeah, playing around with After Effects right now is, um, is this. Let, let me tell you a quick little story, just the three things which um, occurred in uh, the recent past and which made me think. The first thing was a couple of months ago I saw a video on Photo TV where um, Yuri Akos is teaching how he is shooting the uh, microstock photos that make him millions. Yeah, he was uh, showing techniques and the business side of it and um, that's why I thought, wow, if you do it as professional as Yuri does it, and he is really good, then um, actually there is money in microstock yeah, and a lot of money, millions. Yeah. On the other hand, then I thought, okay, but I would have to find a niche where the competition is low enough so that uh, I could still sell photos and um, where um, the, the demand for photos is high enough. And then months later I saw an interview, it was also a free video on Photo TV. I saw an interview with the uh, Shutterstock CEO, Adam Riggs. And um, when the interviewer asked him what is trending in Microstock, you know what he said? Video has a role to play going forward, again, as the technology continues to get better. Okay, well, we might have to teach you in some videos here how to actually shoot video content for, for Microstock sites. Aha, it's video. Actually, I already own a DSLR, which takes technically takes awesome video, but my videos, ah, they always have dodgy sound, um, they're not sharp, they're blurry, my scripts are lame, you know. And uh, then I stumbled across a DVD named Stills in Motion, and this DVD is done by the awesome, awesome, awesome photographer Drew Gardner, a man with great vision for uh, composition, and he's always a little bit ahead of, this, uh, of the times. And um, on this DVD, he is teaching all aspects of shooting commercial video on a DSLR, because that's what he's currently doing, sh shooting advertisement videos on his DSLR. And suddenly I saw, aha, these are the tricks, and um, these are the techniques, and, and this is the tools that I'm still missing. And um, do you know how he's doing this awesome focus pulls, which uh, look really cinematic? A follow focus wheel enables us to focus accurately between various points in our shot. It's straight out of the movie industry. What we can do, we can select focusing points with this marker pen. And we can now focus between these two different points without even having to look through the viewfinder. And we know it's gonna be perfectly in focus. I've just seen a great opportunity. I really don't know if it's gonna work, but I've seen this great reflection of uh, Francois in the window. Now, I reckon if I'm clever, I might be able to do a focus pull between Francois's reflection and the Canary Wharf uh, financial area of London in the background. I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's give it a go. Francois, that's lovely, okay. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna mark the focus point for Francois. It's there. Okay, now I have to move to that point. It's at this point that the follow focus really does come into its own. I mean, you, you, okay, I'm not saying you couldn't do this uh, in, uh, without the follow focus, but it would be jolly difficult. So there we have it. Let's have a go and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that's not rocket science. Now, in my head, I, I just connected the dots and now oh, there's money in microstock, um, video is selling like sliced bread. Now I even know how to do it and um, okay, enough said, I'm spilling my beans across your screen. Um, I'm just really, really excited to try out video in the near future. Yeah? I just thought um, you should be the first that, uh, that, that I let know. Anyway, I'm always committed to um, let you know where things are going and um, yeah, next week I'll still be too busy with uh, shooting stills. I'm on Photokina for seven days straight. Um, if you go to Photokina, make sure you join my uh, Photokina tips list on smoking strobes. And um, in any case, I wish you a lot of fun with your photo shoots or probably even video shoots, who knows. And I wish you good light.